Hey everybody, happy, happy, happy Saturday. Um, I went out today, did not go to the mall. I decided to go in the opposite direction and I just walked in from going to Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree and I guess every Dollar Tree is not doing as great as you really wanna think. You could still find some sort of bargains, but I think right now because of the way our country is going with inflation and, you know, we're hitting a recession. Um, people are struggling to pay bills and everything. And I guess they're all just running to Dollar Tree because, I mean, that's really saves you. But if, if the stuff is there at Dollar Tree, then I would say it's totally worth it. Right now, I did not get anything that I really needed. I like these... Um, plastic cups you usually get 28 of them they're plastic nine ounce cups and right now I only have two left so Dollar Tree didn't have any at all wonderful I usually buy at Dollar Tree these Scotty's tissues now you see the size of the box this is one of this is my last Scotty's box that I actually have in this size so I panicked now, last week, my husband and I, we went to the Dollar Tree. We went to a totally different one, and they did not have the tissues that I wanted. They had, instead, small boxes of Puffs Plus tissues, okay? Now, Puffs are good because they have that real softness. Um, I know when you get a cold and you keep blowing your nose, certain tissues are just irritating. Puffs really do, they really do work. It's a very, very soft tissue. However... If the puff size came in this, I wouldn't mind. So right now I have a 200 two ply in Scotty's for $1.25. I picked up last week these puffs and they don't tell me how much of the tissues you are getting. So I want to say that these tissues They really don't say. This is the strangest. This seems like Dollar Tree is now using a whole case, but they're cracking cases open and selling them at $1.25 each. This is the impression I'm getting because this doesn't even look like an actual company box of tissues. Okay, this looks like contained, made from recycled, blah, blah, blah. They're not telling you how many tissues you are getting? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just seen it. Now, usually on the Scotties, they're right on the top. Okay, hold on. It's on the bottom of the box. 96 to ply. So I went from $1.25 to 200 down to 96 for $1.25. That's like 100 and some odd tissues that are missing. So last week, I got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of these. I could have only needed four boxes of these. I would have been good. So that's my dilemma right now. I'm going to hang on to this box as long as I can. <laughs> maybe maybe um, stop and shop. My market will have boxes of these tissues. Maybe they'll, they'll do better. Anyway, so what I got today at Dollar Tree, my little Dollar Tree haul, is probably not by much. I got all different kinds of boxes because at that point I was like really annoyed last week. So I went to my Dollar Tree in my neighborhood and they have the same boxes. So I says, I don't need any more. Now these for a snack are the most awesome things. Hopefully, dear sweet Jesus, that they didn't touch these and ruin the recipe. But I love Brim's cheese balls. I love these. And if it's not me, I want to say, I have no idea. I want to say that the balls are smaller. I mean, I just, I don't know where I come up with these things, but everything is shrinking in size. We know this. So I not only bought one, I bought two. Because I can basically eat a bag of these in one sitting, just while watching a show. It's ridiculous. So I bought two of those for myself. Um, this was an impulse buy. It is adorable. 
Did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yeah, for $1.25. They have um, Day of the Dead. I love the Day of the Dead, and I love Coco. I love everything about that. that I love the movie. I wound up with one of these cups. <laughs> like, I need another cup in my life. This is adorable. It has the plastic top. It's a plastic cup, just with a plastic top. And it is awesome. And it's... Yeah, it turns to go on. I looked at it, $1.25, can't go wrong. Yeah, like I needed it. But anyhow, um, I did get some kitchen items. Hopefully there's another pack in here. Yeah, I happen to like um, these. They're called Scrub Buddies, and I, they come two in a pack. And they have, sometimes they have designs on them. And there's one side scrub and one side is, a, is just a sponge. Okay, I can see I got two of the same. Okay, they only had three of the same. Okay, three of the same designs. I got three packs of these. So now I have six sponges. And these are, these are good. These do me just as well as um, uh, name brand, more expensive sponges. So these are still $1.25 for two. So I got three of those. I got another pack of my Scrub Buddies wet, wet sweeper mops, uh, wet, I call these for wet jet. Wet jet sweeper mops like the Swiffer. Now, I showed you the difference a few months back that they used to sell them in bags of 10. They now went down to eight. I did show you the bag between 10 and eight, so they just changed that. So now you're getting eight of them for $1.25 as opposed to used to be 10. Anyway, got another, um, I'm going to try these. These are the reusable wipes. Years ago, my mom, um, used to buy handy wipes. They used to be called handy wipes. They're very durable, very strong. Those suckers used to last for years. Well, I did buy the um, Dollar Tree uh, as opposed to what handy wipes would be. And it's just, they're more of a too softer of a, of a texture. And it doesn't really do what I want it to do. Basically, it just pushes the liquid around is what it's doing. It's not absorbing the liquid. So I'm going to try these. This says heavy duty. Um, you're getting a pack of four heavy-duty scrub buddies, reusable wipes. I figured because I like the scrub, buddy, scrub buddies products with the wet mops and the sponges, I said, you know what, let me give this a try. And I also like their um, scrub buddies um, microfiber towels. So I figured, let me give these a, a thing. Let me give these a shot. It has the texture kind of like a kind of like a handy wipe would. Eh. All right, we'll see. We'll see. There's the texture. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm just, you see what's going on in the world and we see what's happening and, you know, it's, it's starting to um, affect me. If I could just go on through life just doing what I normally do and not to get too excited about the changes because, you know, even changes, changes are all around us and it's kind of hard to adjust to that. So, you know, I'm going through my own little trials and tribulations right now. Okay, this product I absolutely love. As opposed to spray and wash and shout. This, in a 32 fluid ounce size, this is laundry pre-wash, totally awesome. I absolutely love this. I use it for my husband's clothing and when there's stains and sometimes he wears a white shirt at night, he wears a, a white tank top shirt to bed. But He'll sit and he'll have uh, chocolate chip cookies and maybe some chocolate ice cream while we're watching TV. And some every so often, I said, what the hell are you doing? I just gave you that shirt. There's like a drip on it here, a spot on it there. This works wonderful. So I says, all right, I'm going to be smart with this one. $1.25, 32 ounce. I got three of them. So I will be okay for a while. Yes, I will. I grab these when I can. So I'll be good. I have bleach that I purchased at the other Dollar Tree store. So I have one, two of the big size bleaches from the Dollar Tree store. The totally awesome. These are in 98 fluid ounce, $1.25. Can't go wrong. So I already purchased those. So I says, all right, I'm going to leave those alone. So I'm good with those. Um... I could see these ain't see-through like my other one is. 
I like these on the table. These are, you can actually use these too for crafts. If you have kids that use crafts, that maybe they, they get a little messy on the table. You may want to put this under there, whatever they're coloring or drawing. Um, this is an actual cutting board. It's disposable. You can use it as many times as you want. Right now, you can see this one is kind of on its way out. I don't know if I have any more, but for $1.25, you get two of them, the cutting boards, which I love these. I don't know if I have any more. I, I may have another one in there, but I could see these aren't so see-through, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me if they're see-through or not. I leave this here because sometimes if you get messes, sometimes if you get crumbs, I come out, uh, my husband will come out and make a sandwich, forget it. That's like a, why are men like that? Pick up the crumbs. Anyway, I'll just take it, you know, wipe it down, take it with the crumbs and I'll dump it into the garbage and I'll wash it and I'll just put it back. It's really good for the counter space. So I got two more. Um, every so often it is a hit or miss. But I did manage to get, and I had to go under the counter, and I don't know why. I If I didn't look underneath the bottom shelf in the back, because I'm kind of, basically sometimes I'm nosy. If I don't see something, I will literally bend down, I'll go, and I will look and see what what's under there. I'm just, I'm just nosy. Well, it's a good thing I did, because I got my granulated sugar, okay? Domino granulated sugar. So I we use sugar in this house, so... I got two of these. I should. I think I should have got more, but it's okay. I think I have another one underneath this cabinet. I thought I did. I guess I don't. Okay, so I only got two. That's fine. So I got two, and they are name brand. Um, I spoke to the owner while they were actually stocking some stuff, and he says, he says, yeah. I said, first of all, I, I complained about the tissues. I says, what, what's the deal with the tea? He says, I know. He says, the distribution companies have changed. Um, they probably will not be giving us the usual products and the name brand products anymore. Um, and then he mentions, you know, they told him because of the recession and because prices are going up, everybody's been getting cheaper. He says, and I'm sorry to say, even my store. I says, all right. Well, I appreciate your honesty on that one. I said, I, I already knew the answer, but I just wanted to re-clarify that. All right, I says, I thank you so much. So he says, whatever you get is what you get in my store. You know, there's nothing that I can do. I said, yeah, no, I get you. Um, so I moved on from that. I did get, this is pretty cool. These are actually, if you have ceiling fans, but this is also, um whoops oh here we go yeah because i took that off in the store this is also an add-on to a broom set that dollar tree sells they sell the mop heads they sell the broom heads they sell the dusting cleaning mop heads they sell the attachment to put one of the wet swiffer mops onto it and then they also sell this and this is what it is is that it's called Standard Essentials, and it is for ceiling fans. It has a hole here. So if you have a ceiling fan and you want to clean the blade of the ceiling fan, you just attach this to the already broomstick that is also part of the set. It's actually all you need is one broomstick, and you have 49 attachments to it. It's, it's really cool. That's one of the things that I thought when it first started that you're never going to see again once you see it, but you do. They, he does have a load of them. So... You attach this, screw it on to the broom handle, and then here's the blade, and you just take this, and you go over the blade if you want to clean your blades. These are actually also good, I want to say, for, um, I have uh, vertical blinds. So I would just, you know, if you want to just go up to one of the vertical blinds, and you want to just clean off each blind like that, you can do that too. Um, I just thought to maybe just clean the tops of my, of my lights. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh. <clears throat> excuse me. I could actually reach this without even the, the handle. Whoops. Okay. Anyway, but it's basically for, made for ceiling fans. And again, it's $1.25, but I, I have more uses for this. So I grabbed it. And that's really it for that. That's really it for my, uh, 
my little shopping haul. I went to lunch. Now here, I originally went to lunch thinking that I, because I'm in that area, they have a Subway sandwich shop, which I love Subway also. I like Jersey Mike's better than Subway. But if I didn't have a Jersey Mike's, I always loved Subway sandwich shop. So I have in my newspapers, I have coupons. Okay. These are the Subway coupons. And I live for coupons. Okay, I do. So I had this coupon to get a six inch meal, which you get a drink and a bag of chips and a six inch sub, which is not big, for $5.99. Okay. I go into my Subway shop and the guy says, because he's seen what I was doing and I had the coupon out and he says, oh, he says, I'm sorry, so we don't take coupons no more. I said, what? He says, no, look at the sign. He goes, so the sign was right there. We do, we do not accept coupons. At, but this is your store. I look around in the store. There's nobody in there. Absolutely not a soul. Not a soul. So I turned around, not to be too nasty, but I says, I says, not even. He says, no. I says, but why? He says, I don't know. We just don't. He goes. Then he started getting a little snippy because I just asked, you know, was it the company's fault? Was it the, I don't know. He says, we just don't. Okay. Now that you gave me that attitude, I says, okay, fine. I says, have a nice day. He says, so you don't want nothing. As I was walking out, I turned around. I says, no, because you know what? You don't take coupons. You just lost a customer. I was a customer standing here. I am now going outside the door. I was a customer. Now I'm no longer a customer. I'm just a person that's leaving. Have a nice day. And I walked out. I'm not going to stay and pay extra money when I know damn well that I shouldn't be. This is a coupon. This is a, this is a gift. And you don't want to accept the gifts. I don't know if it's part of your management company, but you could have said anything nicer. I'm sorry, man. We we just don't accept them no more. I really don't know why, but this is what this is what we're doing. And I would have accepted that, but I still would have walked out that damn door. Let's get it. Let's get it right. I'm, I wasn't going to stay. I had no intentions on doing that. This is at least a seven to nine to ten dollar meal. I know it is. That's why I didn't want to stay. So I walked, I went across the street to Wendy's and I haven't had Wendy's in a long time. And in that neighborhood, that Wendy's and that basically that neighborhood is not the greatest neighborhood. Um, I wrote to my husband, I said, you know, I'm down here. I said, he says, oh, you made it to Dollar Tree. He says, how you do? I said, yeah. It's a miss. I says, usually hit a miss. This was a miss. I says, I didn't really, you know, I got some things, but I didn't get much. And he says, oh, I'm sorry. He says, I said, yeah, but they're all doing that, Dollar Trees. I says, I went to have lunch at Subway, but I have I have the coupons and they weren't accepting. Went into the store with my husband. My husband says, so where are you now? I said, I'm across the street at Wendy's. I don't know if I should have said that. Or He says, do me a favor. You, you, be careful in that area. I says, yeah, no, I know. I says, I says, I'm, I'm finishing up now. I says, cause I ate the meal quick. I'm finishing up now. I says, and I'm going to be heading home. So that's what I did. That's what I did. Now I come home and I see three electric trucks from our electric company outside the, outside of my building. I says, what now? Anywho, I come home. Alexa. Must have turned on the lamp because the lamp was on. Right away when I see the light on, I get the crap scared out of me because I don't, you know, who, who knows who's in your house lately? You know, that's that's what I think. But I see the three electric trucks. I says, all right, the, the power must have went out. Sure enough, it did because all my clocks were blinking and everything's just all screwy here. I said, well, I don't know what party was going on here, but it's a good thing I wasn't here. So... So at least I got out of the house a little bit while that's what's happening. I don't know why the electric trucks are outside, but the power is on now. So I guess that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm having the rest of my Wendy's. I had some Dr. Pepper. I am on a root beer kick and Dr. Pepper kick. Last night, my husband came home. We had, well, he had pizza. 
I ordered um, a grilled chicken sandwich with lettuce and tomato and vinegar and oil. And I had, it, it was in a wrap. And we sat here, we were still, we're still finishing watching up Cobra Kai. So we, we love our Cobra Kai. And we are finishing up, you know, my husband says, you know, while we're eating, would you like to watch Cobra Kai? I said, yes. But the sandwich was great and I would order it again, except I would like some more vinegar and oil. I like it smothered. I like it oozing in vinegar and oil. That's just how I am. And this didn't have it, but the sandwich was very good. So I would do that again at my uh, local pizza shop. All right, people, that's going to be it. Um, I did read the articles from yesterday that someone had um, mentioned, and they did. They popped up. And a um, little bit of the Disney news. I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like what I'm reading. And it's out there whether we all like it or not. So just keep up on it, you know, because like things change down there when in five minutes. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Uh, Rise of the Resistance may actually go up to $100 per family. That's what the article said. I thought it was per person, but it's, it doesn't. It says per family. So it's like if you have four people in your family, it's like $25 each. Oh, that would be $100, but it's per family. Wowza. Wowza. Thank you so much for all your interactions yesterday on my last video with the Price is Right model situation. It's a doozy, folks. Uh, again, if you read my, if you look at my last video, go in the description box. The article is connected to it. Give yourselves a good read. All right, people. God bless you. Happy Saturday. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Have a great, safe rest of the day. Love to all. Take care. Bye-bye.